China has quietly achieved something extraordinary. Its new Type 076 Sichuan may be the world's first drone carrier testing magnetic catapults to launch aircraft. Satellite images show the ship preparing for electromagnetic launch trials, a technology once exclusive to the world's most advanced carriers. This breakthrough could redefine how drones and jets take off at sea, marking a bold step toward the future of naval innovation and high-tech flight operations. Type 076 Sichuan in action. At Shanghai's Hudongzhonghua shipyard, a massive vessel sits pointed toward the Yangtze River, its long catapult track aimed directly at open water. That ship is the Sichuan, the first in China's Type 076 class of amphibious assault ships, and it's attracting attention worldwide. According to satellite imagery and verified reports from the South China Morning Post and Interesting Engineering, the Sichuan appears to have entered an active testing phase for its electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMALS, the same advanced technology used by the U.S. Navy's Gerald R. Ford and China's Fujian carrier. Between October 20th and 29th, the Shanghai Maritime Safety Administration issued an official no-entry warning for the area surrounding the shipyard. The notice included a strict exclusion zone and mentioned daily underwater activities between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., consistent with what naval engineers describe as sled tests. In such trials, a heavy metal carriage is magnetically accelerated down the catapult to simulate the launch of an aircraft, after which the sled is recovered from the water for data analysis. This method allows engineers to measure performance, vibration stress, and energy efficiency without risking an actual aircraft. Recent images show that protective panels covering the catapult have been removed and a new radar array has been installed, clear signs that the vessel is transitioning from outfitting to live testing. Measuring more than 40,000 tons and featuring a full-length flight deck, Sichuan is classified as an amphibious assault ship, yet it's equipped with a launch rail typically seen only on supercarriers. This makes it a hybrid, part assault ship, part aircraft carrier. If these MALS trials are confirmed, Sichuan would officially become the world's first amphibious ship capable of electromagnetic aircraft launches. This is not just about testing hardware. It's about validating a new class of naval aviation, one that merges drone operations, energy-efficient propulsion, and next-generation control systems into a single, highly adaptable platform. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, is a technological leap that replaces the traditional steam-powered catapults of earlier carriers. Instead of using pressurized steam pistons, EMALS employs linear induction motors that generate powerful magnetic fields to accelerate aircraft along the flight deck. This offers smoother acceleration, precise control, and reduced stress on airframes advantages that are particularly critical for lightweight drones and next-generation jets. Installing this system on the Sichuan fundamentally changes what an amphibious ship can do. Traditional assault ships typically operate helicopters and vertical takeoff aircraft, limiting the range and payload of their onboard fleet. But EMALS opens the door to launching fixed-wing aircraft of various sizes, from the stealthy GJ-11 Sharp Sword Combat Drone to manned fighters and surveillance planes. The system's variable power control allows the launch of both small UAVs and heavy aircraft using the same electromagnetic track. Another major benefit of EMALS is energy efficiency. It consumes less power per launch compared to steam systems and can store excess electrical energy in flywheels between launches. This makes it ideal for ships with advanced power management systems, a feature reportedly included in the Type 076's design. Maintenance demands are lower as well, since the magnetic launch rail has fewer moving parts, extending operational life and reducing deck crew workload. From a design standpoint, the Sichuan stands apart. Its twin island layout, similar to China's Fujian, helps separate command operations from flight control, optimizing deck management. The full-length deck and internal hangars indicate it can host dozens of drones and aircraft simultaneously allowing continuous flight operations. What's groundbreaking here isn't just the technology, but its placement. EMALS was once exclusive to the world's largest aircraft carriers. 
vessels over 100,000 tons. Now, China has managed to integrate it onto a ship nearly half that size. If successful, the Type 076 Sichuan won't just be another addition to the fleet. It will redefine what a modern amphibious ship is capable of. The Chinese Navy has described it as a drone carrier, emphasizing its role in launching and recovering fixed-wing uncrewed systems. The inclusion of MALs means this ship could serve as the backbone for autonomous air operations at sea, enabling missions such as long-range reconnaissance, electronic surveillance, and even aerial refueling. One of the most advanced drones expected to operate from the Sichuan is the GJ-11 Sharp Sword, a stealthy, flying-wing UAV known for its low radar visibility and endurance. Reports suggest the ship may also support other fixed-wing drones designed for communication relay and maritime monitoring. Because MALs can safely accelerate lightweight drones without overstressing them, it's ideally suited for launching fleets of uncrewed aircraft in rapid succession. Strategically, the Sichuan represents a shift toward distributed naval aviation. The idea that multiple smaller carriers and assault ships, each capable of fixed-wing operations, can provide broader regional coverage without relying on a single massive supercarrier. This concept allows for greater operational flexibility and resilience while lowering logistical costs. It also aligns with a global trend. Modern navies are increasingly investing in hybrid multi-role platforms that can handle both crewed and uncrewed aircraft operations. The ship's displacement of over 40,000 tons, its electromagnetic launch rail, and its expansive flight deck mean it can function as a light carrier while retaining amphibious capabilities such as troop transport and landing craft deployment. According to recent analysis from the South China Morning Post and Naval News, China is expected to begin sea trials for the Sichuan after the current test window, possibly extending into early 2026. Once operational, it would stand as a demonstration of how far electromagnetic launch systems have progressed, from massive land-based prototypes to sea-ready, multi-mission vessels. The big takeaway? The Sichuan may be the first ship to prove that future sea power won't depend on size or brute force, but on integration, efficiency, and the ability to launch anything, anytime, from anywhere on the ocean. The Type 076 Sichuan is more than a new ship. It's a glimpse into the next era of naval flight. By testing electromagnetic catapults on a drone-centric amphibious platform, China is showing how electric propulsion, automation, and flexible launch systems can transform operations at sea. The move from steam to magnetism may seem like a technical footnote, but it marks a profound shift in design philosophy. Ships are becoming smarter, cleaner, and far more adaptable than ever before. Just as telescopes like Euclid changed how we see the universe, MALs equipped ships like the Sichuan could change how humanity explores and operates across our own planet. Whether it's launching drones, aircraft, or new ideas in maritime engineering, this vessel represents a quiet but historic leap forward. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.